Hello, this is Lisa Crosby, and in this video, I'm going to show you a really quick way to be able to set up a notification in Teams when a new team member joins. So this is a really easy way to get announcements um, out, helping with onboarding new users. It's a really quick little template in Power Automate inside Teams. So let's get started and I'll show you how to do it. So the way we're going to do this is to use the Power Automate app inside Teams. And you'll find that by just going to the, uh, the three dots on your left-hand navigation menu here and typing in Power Automate to find and open that app. Now, if you haven't done this before, when you go through, there'll be an extra couple of clicks there to open and connect uh, the Power Automate app into Teams the first time. And then once you've got that in there, you're good to go. I've got that in some of my other videos on the channel if you want to find out more. So we're going to go into create and get started with creating our flow. And in this case, we're creating a notification flow. And then I'm just going to open up so that I can see the rest of the templates there and scroll down to find this one here that we want, which is uh, to post a welcome message when a new user joins a team. Now, this is uh, the connections that you need for this flow. We've got the Office 365 users and Microsoft Teams. If you haven't already connected with those connectors, in Teams, it will prompt you to sign in and authenticate. I've already done that because I've used them before, so I can just click Create. And now I just go through a series of nice, easy drop-down uh, menu options. The first one is when the user joins the team, which team is it? So it could be your general you know, collaboration team. In this case, I'm going to use a particular team when someone joins the finance team. Then we say, where do we want to post that message? So I want to post it in the, the sort of the general admin team, and I can actually choose the channel there as well where the message goes. So first one, where the person's joining, second one, where the notification is going to go. And then what we've got here is a nice straightforward little rich text editor to uh, create our notification message. And you'll see there there's some fields coming through from the Office 365 user, which was the thing we authenticated when we signed in. So we've got the display name, their location and so on. So when you set up new users in your Microsoft 365 Admin Center, you enter all that information about them and the flow can actually draw that back in and use that so that it's pulling all that information in here. Now you can just go ahead and click create as it is, or you know, you probably want to customize the wording a bit here. Let's say we're a bit more casual, let's just say hi. I could add bold in here. I could change the different um the different fields that are in there as well if I wanted to do that. Otherwise we're good to go. We just click create flow and we'll go back and have a look at where that sits now inside uh, the Power Automate app. So I'll go back to the home screen and you'll see that it's here in the list of flows that I've created. There we go. And now let's trigger the thing to run it. So we'll go back over into the team, the finance team, and I'm going to add a new member into the finance team here. So we'll go and find um, Dan Jump and add him as a new member. Now, just a word of warning, the first time you do this, after you've created that flow, it is actually going to take, in my experience, about between 10 and 15 minutes for the thing to deploy in the back end. So if you go across now and look for the um, the notification message in the Office Admin channel, you'll probably see it's not there if it's the first time you've used it. If it's the first time, give it 10 minutes, 15 minutes, come back and it'll be good. And that is only a first time thing. It just deploys some stuff in the background. After that, every other time you do it, it's pretty much instant. So there you go. There's our message um, with all of those fields brought in. You can see there he's the finance manager. We'll sit in Melbourne and so on. All that stuff has come across from the, um, the Microsoft 365 Admin Center for the user. And if I go back into the Power Automate app now, I can see my flow there. I can actually click through to that and see the runs. So I've seen that it's actually run successfully there. And I could go in there and do some deeper troubleshooting or, or anything like that if I needed more information. So there you go. Quick way to create a notification in Teams when a new user joins a team. I hope that's been helpful and thanks for watching.